What's up everybody, Ghost Gamer here. Today we are reviewing Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Uh, or Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Uh, whatever you want to call it. It's the same game. So, let me first start off this video by explaining a little uh, something something as far as my background with Assassin's Creed goes. I was never really, well, I bought the first Assassin's Creed whenever it came out. I played it for probably about five or six hours straight. Uh, it was one of those games that I ended up putting up on the shelf and I never really took it back down. I, I was kind of interested at the beginning and then it slowly faded out. Didn't really keep my attention for that big or that long of a time. Then we fast forward uh, six years uh, into the future from 2007 to 2013. Uh, well, actually, a little bit before. 2013, uh, they started leaking information about Black Flag, in which I saw it had pirates, and I am a goofy nut when it comes to pirates, and not just because of Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, I've kind of enjoyed pirates in the beginning, anyway, long story, but anyhow. Once I saw that, I decided to uh, essentially dust off Assassin's Creed and try and give it another shot. Went through, completed the first Assassin's Creed, and then finally they released Black Flag, in which I just basically skipped over uh, Assassin's Creed 2 and 3, and just kind of dove straight into... Actually, now that I think about it, uh, I completely bypassed uh, Brotherhood as well. But anyhow, uh, I dove into Black Flag, and quite frankly, I have to say, I love it. Even though I have this uh, concept to like run and gun and just completely butcher every guard on every map I come across and just do my own thing instead of sneaking around and being all stealthy and whatnot, it doesn't matter. I, I still love it. It's fun. It's one of those things that I enjoy even though the animation, uh, if you will, or the controls... Uh, seem to be a little quirky for me uh, from time to time. Uh, doesn't matter if I'm using the keyboard and mouse, which I absolutely do not suggest in lieu of this game. Get a controller, use the controller. It's so much better than a keyboard and mouse. Now, I will forewarn you guys, if you haven't played it yet, it does kind of have a little bit of a roller coaster or a plateau effect uh, because it seems extremely exciting at the very beginning. Uh, quite frankly, you start off one of your scenes with a ship battle. Uh, I, no joke. Uh, straight on, like, pirate ship battle, which is absolutely freaking awesome. But it gets to a point to where it kind of plateaus out. It, it kind of mellows out, and it's not as exciting as it originally was at the very beginning. That is one of the things that I kind of have an issue with it. It seems like a lot of your missions end up, you know, trying to eavesdrop on somebody or try to tail somebody, which I absolutely hate tailing missions, by the way. It is the one thing that I absolutely despise. Well, one of the things that I absolutely despise. But trading over to uh, some of the, uh, you know, some of the other... Uh, issues at hand or points to talk about if you will I have to say the graphics are extremely nice um, they did not really hold back I wish they would have put a little bit more detail in uh, some of the up close and personal shots of the character outfit and whatnot even at the you know from the very beginning to the very end I wish they would have put a little bit more detail there and just you know left the rest of the detail in the background alone but unfortunately they didn't and you can see where they kind of cheated a little bit from here to there voice acting not bad uh, it was one of those things that I was kind of uh, leery if you would uh, mainly because every other game that you come across you will find uh, you know a, a sequel or you know one of the games in the series that just has a hiccup where you know some of the voice acting or cinema animations kind of take a little bit of a hit, but this one didn't really do that as far as voice acting goes. Now, for all you cats out there uh, who are running this on, you know, a console, I can't tell you anything about graphics 
all everything that I'm reviewing is for the PC version because that's what I'm running, and I could jack the quality up as high as I want, um, well as high as the game will allow me, and I have no issues running it. So keep that in mind. All of these uh, little tidbits as far as graphics and everything are concerned is PC variant, not console variant. But anywho, uh, as far there are some hiccups here. It's not all fun games, cheeriness, uh, and awesomeness as far as I'm concerned. Um, there are some issues that I have with it. One of them is the control system, and I think it's uh, maybe a possibility of being just me and sucking at controls, or maybe a possibility of uh, a porting thing. But I don't. I don't want to say that's the case because if memory serves me right, I kind of had the same issues with the first Assassin's Creed on the PS3. But uh, the controls seem a little hinky. I, I don't know how many times that you know I've tried running from a guard or I've tried tailing somebody or you know whatever the case may be where I end up running up a wall or running up a pillar or running up a wall or um, no yeah running up two walls. <laughs> running up a wall, a pillar, or a tree. That was the third one I was looking for, a tree. Um, there's been times where I've tried, you know, doing something, and next thing I know I'm hanging off of a building, or I'm, you know, trying to do something that I really don't want it to do. That annoyed me. It kind of irritated me, but it didn't completely ruin my experience as far as I was concerned. It it kind of took away from some of the experience but not a lot to just make me want to put down the controller and walk away uh, there were also some issues uh, as far as bugs are concerned which you have in every single game it's how many bugs that you come across on, you know how much a developer refused to polish the game beforehand this uh, had a you know decent little handful of bug or a handful of bugs but not uh, in it obscene amount that just made me not want to play it. Uh, there were also some issues with uh, timeline in conjunction with cutscenes. I'm not going to go into a lot of details because I think that's kind of uh, along the lines of spoiling the you know the, that part of the story so I, I'm not going to go into too much information with it. All in all if I have to rate this, you know, the 1 to 10 scale, the good old 1 to 10 scale, um, I would have to probably give it like a 6 and a half. And I say this because it is a good game. It does plateau out and it becomes somewhat repetitive. Uh, there are, you know, the bugs, there are controller issues, but the graphics are nice. I wish it would have drawn me in a little bit more with the storyline than it did. I mean, it did a good job, but it didn't do a fantastic job. It didn't do an absolutely great job. Other than that, I mean, it does have the ability to, uh, you know, you could go one of two ways with it, whether you want to be just bold and brazen and, and walk around with brass cojones and just take out everybody that you see that's a bad person, well, a guard, uh, if you will. Uh, or you can take the sneaky, stealthy way of going about things. That, that is entirely up to you. It, it's, it will occasionally fault you for doing it loud and proud, but you have a choice uh, at quite a few times, in, unless you're stuck on a mission where you have to quietly tail somebody and not be exposed. Well, then that's a different story. I will end this with one thought, though, um, and I know I'm probably going to get bashed for it, but I don't care because I think it needs to be said. If Ubisoft does not, um, if they don't, if they don't watch themselves, they can find themselves falling into the the, the whole Call of Duty Battlefield freaking issue with just repetitive crap. And I say this now because it's one of those things that they need not go down that road. They can kick out original content on the same storyline, but not become a plague, uh, if you will, like Call of Duty and uh, Battlefield. 
If you have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to drop them in the box below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, but for now, until next time, this is Ghost Gamer, and thank you for watching.